So I came over to spend the night with and see the kids. And then on the way back, I'm going to go through the Flint Hills, a scenic route, let's say, and do some artwork along the way. So let's see what we can find today. art materials I brought with me. I've got some erasers in here. Um, another kneaded eraser there. A set of art pencils. And then when you get in here, there's a couple of blenders. I think there's a tortillion in here. Underneath here. Yeah, there it is. And a mechanical pencil. Some replacement leads, a pencil sharpener, some more kneaded erasers, um, an ebony pencil, which is always great. My nails look awful today, so we'll pretend like they look great. It's just the right size. I can just set it right here. I'm just doing some quick sketches. So on the way home, I did a few sketches and I will do an overhead video and show you those. Um, I did take a lot of reference photos. I would have rather have been able to stay there, but there was a storm coming and I was quite a ways from home and I wanted to get home before dark. I know that makes me sound old. So I thought I'd share a few of my current favorite art supplies. These are Pentel oil pastels. They're so inexpensive. I think they're like five dollars, maybe ten for a set of twenty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe there's fifty here. Yeah, for a set of uh, fifty, they're maybe ten dollars. They're hard, but you can use them for drawing, you know, getting the rough idea down. Or alone, of course, if that's what you prefer. Then I like these Cinelier. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Oil pastels. They're almost like a consistency of lipstick. And I've used this set very, very, very much. But they're, they're just a nice consist consistency. I'm going to have to reorder some of these colors, I think. The problem is, when you order these by themselves, a lot of times, by the time you get one or two sticks, you could have just gotten a whole new set. And then the almighty, trusty vine charcoal. Let me just get a piece of regular paper. But it's just a, it's very versatile. You can take a brush on this, you can smear it, you can... And it, this isn't too expensive either. With my budget, I'm always very aware of how much money I'm spending. And there's also this little, I think this was designed actually for like teachers or business, but I can put one of these little pieces of oil pastels in there. And there's other ways to do it. You can you can make your own even with a straw or, but I just kind of, and then you, it's easier to use that way. Another thing are these rosemary brushes. I just, I love the way the, the brush strokes that you can get with these. I have a set of these that, um, I use regularly and they're usually the ones I gravitate toward. And there's this pencil sharpener and if you hear the furnace coming on just it's chilly here today. This is a Carl Angel 5 and this comes out. This comes out. Put your pencil in there and then as you turn it and it turns very easily You get a nice, sharp, I mean, 
Uh, mm. Chef's kiss. And then lastly, these sketchbooks. I love these sketchbooks. They're a stiff paper, almost like a Bristol. And the problem is I don't particularly admire the company that I get these from, or I've gotten these from. So I'd really like to find something at a reasonable price that I can get somewhere else. So if anybody has any ideas. So if you have any ideas, just put your put the info down in the bottom and I would greatly appreciate it. These are some sketches that I did that I thought I would share. Uh, this is a cemetery where a family member is buried. And I really liked this little, I assume it's a uh, Mary statue, but from the back it just looked, the way the shadows were, it was interesting. And then I, I think that was a poncho. And then just, like I said, some really quick little. And then I also did, I also did some abstract. Let me pull this out more plain than anything else. I, I know these are not like master. Uh, I did these the other day. I kind of like this part and I'm just now noticing that that sort of looks like a heart. But I, I like this contrast between the, the dark and the red and then this light colored. I don't think there's anything else in this one that I haven't already shown. I don't know if I've shown that one or not. I don't think I have. It's just a quick study. Um, it it didn't come out as I hoped, but it is in the sketchbook, so it was some practice. I think you've already seen that one with Mr. Sparky. Um, one thing when I did this back here, I got a little, a little excited with the spray bottle, and I had this taped across here, and it went on my the following pages. I've got some of that, which is no big deal. I'll just work around it, but it was just kind of. it on my sergeant study. These I don't know what I'm going to do with. Um, I put a coat of I put a coat of clear gesso over the top of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we'll see. And I think that's it for that one. Again, it was just a study. This was of the values. It has some, I like this right here, the way her little face shows up. And this is another one of that same. There's something I like about this pose and these studies just are not getting it. And this one is in oil pastel. This one is an acrylic and then I don't remember what the other one is in. I think it might be an acrylic in color though. This was a landscape that I only centered that a little better. This is a landscape I did, just trying to loosen up. Um, I'm working from photos on this. I wasn't out in the out in the wild per se. But there's things I like about this. And then this was another one. I did these all the same day, all these landscape studies. Some of this, and, yeah. but I'm trying to loosen up some, which is why I was doing the abstract. But it has nice contrast in here. I like this smushiness in here. I think that's the last one in here, maybe. Uh, this is one of the abstracts that I did, along with those two in the smaller notebook. I think I like this one the best. Just the way the, it's just simple and expressive. There's that marks in here. 
nice contrast, some textures. So, thank you for watching. I will catch you next time. Take care. Stay creative.